This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1528. My boyfriend still has his ex wifes stuff by Melissa Josu of melissathelovecoach.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to ORD. Happy Sunday, and thank you for spending some of your weekend with us. I'm Greg Audino, your host of the show that is all about helping you improve the relationships in your life, predominantly through the narration of some of the world's best relationship building content. And today we'll be hearing a post from Melissa Josu, aka Melissa the Love Coach, as she answers a question sent in by one of the readers on her website. So let's dive right into it and optimize your life. My boyfriend still has his ex-wife's stuff by Melissa Josu of melissathelovecoach.com. Dear Melissa, the man I'm with got divorced 15 years ago. He was only married for six years, but he still keeps his wedding band in a drawer. I've been dating him almost two years, and I live with him now. His ex and his kids live 3,000 miles away. I think he's still not over his ex. He tells me he loves me. We dated when we were younger, and we do have a lot of history. We have a good thing. But he's so attentive to his ex. I'm divorced too, also with teenagers, but they live with my ex for financial reasons. How can I get over thinking about this? He tells me every day that he loves me. Sometimes I believe him, sometimes not. There's also a lot of stuff in our apartment from his marriage, but he's also very cheap. I spoke with him about my concerns. He tells me I'm the most important thing besides his teen kids. He tells me there's nothing there. She's just the mother of my kids. He said he doesn't know how to change my mind about how I feel about the wedding band. He said it's no big deal but it bothers me a little. I don't know what to do. He's a great guy, big heart. He might be too sensitive at times, or maybe he feels bad for his ex. I don't know. I don't want to lose him, but I'll go if I have to. Confused and Bethpage Dear Confused and Bethpage, I had that panicked conversation in my mind for probably days before I got the courage to ask him about it, and it turned out that he just wanted to keep it to eventually give to his daughters. His daughters were very young at the time. I could understand that. A relic from his marriage, of which his daughters were a direct result. He assured me he wasn't keeping it out of sentiment or pining for the past. He assured me that he loved me and wanted to be with me and not to worry. I had spent so much emotional and mental energy. I felt silly being so anxious for so long. All that to say, there might be a reason why he may be keeping the wedding ring and other things but it doesn't necessarily mean he still holds a torch for her. So, before you spend a lot of mental and emotional energy on this issue, there are a few things that I recommend to help you get to the bottom of why it's happening, and overcome it. Ask him why he still keeps it. You might find that it's a totally benign reason. Maybe he's trying to find the right buyer, or maybe he's keeping other items purely for their utility. I had a client who was very concerned that her boyfriend was still keeping his ex-wife's laptop. She considered leaving him, but her boyfriend assured her that he's just keeping it because it's still a perfectly good working computer. He's not keeping it because it was hers. As you mentioned, your boyfriend is cheap, so maybe he's keeping some of his ex-wife's things simply for their utility and doesn't feel it makes financial sense to buy new ones. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's not over his ex-wife. I'd look for other things, such as a consistent pattern of emotional preoccupation with his ex or his failed marriage, to Really discern if someone is still stuck in the past and not over their previous relationship. Whatever his reasons are for keeping those items, simply ask him to find out, for your own peace of mind and for the health of your relationship. Check your own baggage. Whenever you experience an issue in your relationship, it's because there's a need or requirement that's not being met for you, which is why it's important to become deeply aware of why this is an issue for you. You mentioned that he's attentive to his ex. Maybe you're feeling insecure because you're not feeling like a priority in the relationship. The key is for you to examine what thoughts are coming up for you. He still has some of his ex's stuff, and it's triggering some serious feelings within you. You're feeling threatened and insecure, and this is an important one to explore. How real is the threat, and what's underlying your sense of insecurity? You have beliefs about these objects in his house and about what those objects mean. Are those beliefs true? I encourage you to examine your beliefs and also investigate how true those beliefs are. Request Reassurance 
If you're feeling insecure, it's okay to ask for reassurance. Voicing your needs and being heard is your right in a healthy, supportive relationship. If he balks, gets defensive, or accuses you of being too sensitive, your relationship might have other issues that need to be addressed. Think about what you need from him in order to feel more secure in your relationship after you examine your beliefs about what those items mean and become deeply aware of the source of your insecurity. How do you want that to show up in your relationship? For example, maybe you need more assuring hugs and kisses from him. Or you might feel you need more time to connect with him, if even by phone. What could he do to provide you more reassurance so you feel more secure? You just listened to the post titled, My Boyfriend Still Has His Ex-Wife's Stuff, by Melissa Josu of melissathelovecoach.com. And thanks so much to Melissa for this post. I absolutely love the distinction that she made when encouraging her reader to focus instead on the feelings he displays, and if there's any emotional preoccupation with his ex, as opposed to creating a story based solely on her ideas about what it means for him to keep her ring. I thought Melissa handled this really beautifully and gave her asker some great alternative ways of thinking and reacting in regards to this uneasiness that she's feeling. And if by chance that reader of hers uh, happens to be listening now, (laughs) I would tell her that, to this day, I still have love notes stowed away from my girlfriend's past, including my first girlfriend back in high school. And I can safely say this is in no way reflective of a desire to get back with her after all of these years, but rather it reminds me of a a really invigorating and pivotal chapter in my life when romance was so new and misunderstood. It's nice to have something to remind me of the rush that came along with being a 17-year-old who thought he was in love. Not quite the same as a wedding ring, yes, but as someone who likes to appreciate and commemorate different chapters of my life, I could absolutely see why someone might be inclined to keep a ring and do so separately from wanting to be back with the person that once had that ring. That's going to do it for today, though, everybody. Thank you, as always, for coming and listening until the end. Have a great remainder of your Sunday, and be sure to check out our weekly bonus episode, which is live now, too. I hope to see you there, where your optimal life awaits.